Hello my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another rapture packed episode of Chris the Butcher. My friends. And before we go any further with this video, I would like to introduce you to the dryer and the washer. I have got no choice. There's five people, five people in this house. And the world fucking keeps spinning. No, we're not having one of them. We're having a Just Our Tea episode will be in the title. Because I ain't got a fucking clue. I just stood there, there waving my fucking hand like an obhead, weren't I? What well, happened? Just Three, two, one. You're on deck. So like I've established, we are doing a Just Our Tea. And if you're new to the channel and you don't know what a Just Our Tea is, it's basically uh, tea. In other parts of the world, in other parts of the country, tea means fucking cakes and cups of tea. It means your evening meal after your dinner, before your supper. Stuck there in between. And when I call it just our tea or just our tea, it's because I really don't know what I'm going to do. And I've got a random bits of shit that I want to use. And do you know what? I'm going to make tea with it. And that's where just our tea comes from. I'm boring you guys now, man. My glasses, I've got my glasses from Specsavers yesterday. They're, sitting, they're not sitting on me. I'm going to have to make an appointment about Specsavers. So they stop fucking like, I keep walking, I keep walking, that's... It's like I'm walking on the fucking Titanic. Jesus. Right, so what have we got? I'll bring you down, I'd bring you down, but I can't be arsed, you know what I mean? Time waiting for no fucking man here. Everyone's fucking starving, ain't fucking started tea yet. So I found that in the cupboard and it's the whole wheat spaghetti made in Italy. Mamma mia! And I've got some. We got them from the bread and butter scheme and the minestrone soup in a sachet. And they're from no, no. Oh yeah. Focus. Thanks. Focus. Fucking piece of shit, Samsung S20 Ultra Edge. We got some uh, British Petit Pois peas. Sorry, sorry. There it is. Garlic salt, basically we're having whole wheat spaghetti and fucking minestrone soup with garlic salt and fucking peas. So let's get down here and crack on. Not with a fill. Mind you, I, will, I think I will use a fill, but not, not just yet. At least I know, well I don't know what I'm doing right now, but at least I know how I'm starting it. And that is... This shit wholemeal pasta. That worked, didn't it? Right, we'll get that bubbling away and uh, we'll crack on with our other bits. And while that pasta is doing its thing, we're just going to cut up some shallots. Don't have to be perfect, don't have to be tiny because I really don't know what I'm doing. So, we've got some shallots there. I've got three cloves of garlic, which will also, my big hands in way, innit? Which I'll also chop up. Get that. Not too small, but we don't want it too big that you're biting into big lumps of garlic. Uh, basically, uh, this is just going to go and make the base of the thing I don't know what the fuck I'm doing yet. Listen, I'm winging this. I'm fucking winging it. So our spaghetti there, as you can see there in the corner, is going like the clappers. And there is the shallots and the garlic I chopped up. I'm going to add them to medium, medium high pan. You know what I mean? Not medium high, I mean heat. Right? 
Where's me my areas? And we're just going to soften them off. Let them go a little bit translucent. We don't want to burn the garlic. The last thing we need to do is burn that garlic because this will destroy the dish. But hopefully having it at a medium, it's a medium high, medium high, high, but whatever, it shouldn't have that effect. Unless I, I, you know, I forget what I'm doing and I fuck off and uh, it sits there for the next 20 minutes. But hey, I'm going to have something else for that pan. I bet you can't guess what it is. And do you know what? I bought this for Lou in Butlins. And she says it tastes like fucking vinegar. So I'm going to use that as well. Yes. I'm going to put a drop of that vinegary rosy I bought Lou in there. And let that come to a boil. Because the spaghetti, I've turned the spaghetti off because it's virtually done. But after this, I'm going to add the uh, the Nor Minestrone soup packs. I've got four, ooh, splashed everywhere then like a scruffy bastard. I've got four of them. Uh, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. This might end up like a bag of shit. It might look like a bag of shit, taste like a bag of shit. I'm guaranteed it's going to be a bag of shit. But hey, it'll make a turd. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. The washing machine is going for a a staycation somewhere, it's going on a spin. But we're going in with our Nor stuff now. Minestrone, it smells absolutely fabulous. That's one. Got four of these. Two. Three. And four. A minestrone soup spaghetti makeshift with rosy vinaigrette, <laughs> as Lou called it. Uh, wholemeal pasta. Uh, I am going to put chilli with mine, but I can't put chilli in it. Otherwise, I would have done it before. Like Lou and kid, Lou and Josh won't eat it. Kids have had their tea, they've had pizza and chips. You know what I mean? Well, there we have. Got like a minestrone soup thing going there. And it smells superb. But I've not finished. I'm going to put some peas in there as well. I've just whacked it up a little bit higher in heat because I want that to. Uh... I've just whacked it up a little bit higher in heat because obviously the minestrone soup has brought the temperature right down. So I want to get up because I've got some frozen peas. I'm not going to use too many. I told you I got them in little. There you go. And these are frozen as well, so these are going to bring the temperature of the mix down. But that will do it. So you could give them a stir in. We don't, you don't, peas don't take long to cut, even the frozen ones. And uh, yeah, it's coming, it's coming to shape, isn't it? Let's get that bit of a boil going. Not a boil, but you know, I want it to bubble. Have a little bit of bubble in it. And then we're going to have the, uh, the the wholemeal pasta, which is done. I've just kept it in the juices of the, well, the salt water of the pan. I'll pick it up, but my pan's got no fucking handles. Can you see there? The fucking, the fucked. And uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to take them with, with me uh, Suffolk Viking and uh, pull it, take it out with that and just drop it right in. So you get some of that salt water as well. Not too much, because uh, otherwise it'll be a little bit salty more. So it's time for the whole meal spaghetti. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Try and get it in the pan, you absolute northern dickhead. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm gonna keep some I'm gonna keep some pasta back uh, for Connor and Kieran because they're not gonna like this. It's all over the fucking oven top. What the what is up with me? Hey! Fucking hell, that rot. Another one there. So, we're just trying not to spill it everywhere. Because I, I should have used a bigger pan than the fill, to be honest. But it's, I don't know, it's looking intriguing. It's looking interesting. It'll look better when it's got some fucking finely chopped red chilies on it. 
Give it a bit of kick, get rid of that fucking old COVID-19 shit that's going around. Hey, I had to take Lou for a fucking PCR test today because because uh, Lou's mum, unfortunately, has, has, has developed COVID. And she's not been very well. And she'd been very, she'd been worried and she got tagged on that track, track and trace thing. So, incidentally, I haven't got that, but I have now. They, there we are. We'll turn the heat off this pan because we don't need it on now. And, uh, yeah. I think it's like dish, this pan of fucking what I ain't got to fucking clue what it is up. And there is the end product. Uh, whole wheat pasta, onions, garlic, uh, petit pois peas, minestrone soup, vinaigrette rosé wine that Lou will never drink. And if Lou won't drink... A wine, then it must be fucking shit. And there's only thing what there's only one thing missing on there, and I did say I'm going to do it, and that's uh, some crushed red chili. Get that on there as well. It's only it's only going. I would have cooked it in, but uh, no one else would have ate it. And it's raw. I haven't kept the seeds. I've took the membrane out as well, but that really potentially will still blow my tits off. So it's time to slide whatever this is down my gizzard. <clears throat> the only thing worrying me is them uh, red chilies. But, do you know what, let's mix them in a bit. Because I don't want red chilies in every single fucking bite, or the first bite I eat, you know what I mean? Let's get this. <clears throat> the problem with this is now, because it's got soup in it, it's got uh, rosé vin vinaigrette wine in it. That's what we call it. I can't drink that shit. Uh, I might need a spoon to finish this off. Because the only thing sticking to the fork is actually the... Uh, the spaghetti that's sticking to its side and the floor right now. <laughs> Let's get it in my gizzard. It'll be red hot anyway. Oh... You know what, brothers and sisters? I ain't got a recipe for this, but do you know what? You, if you ain't got them sachets of minestrone soup, just get some Heinz or, or even Asda own, Tesco own, Tesco own minestrone soup. Bag of frozen peas, they're about 87 pence or something. Patra's about fucking, fucking 57 pence, isn't it? This, and then red chilies. That has just put a kick in the back of my throat, and I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. That there is fucking downright toasty. Do you know what, brothers and sisters? I haven't got a fucking clue what I just created there. But I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, God. I've lost a lot of weight, but I've still got the chippy tits. I'll become a family member of Hashtag Team CTB. Where I, chippy tip Chris, fucking loves you.